me. I just want to say thank you for staying and sticking with us. Uh, the drums, the drums. Now this is the point where I was pointing out. This is where to get the full depth, which is slightly less than the other one. You've got to, okay. Yeah. This is the this is the clever bit because what happens now? This uh, we just need to that comes off. The blade is exposed. You just pull it. Up. There's a clear window, and that's your objective. So there's your core. Now the problem we've had in the past is when you pull on that, that sort of thing happens. So. You don't know, you're not too certain that whether you exacerbated a break that was already or even that existed because you almost feel like you created one. The guys are experienced will know if it's construction break or it's a, it's a, a discontinuous here because you can see the features in between. But to take that objective away, this is a much better development now. You haven't got quite the full depth, that's actually before we had a 10 inch, but this is what we can work on. So it's up to you guys how you feel this works, but I think it's a much better a device. Okay? Now I've used it all summer and it really hasn't let me down, apart from the fact that being clay, you do get that sometimes, you do get that stick. But instead of the pull, it's as though it, it pulls it apart like that. So keeping it polished. Um, as soon as you finish with it and not allowing the rust to get on it, um, we'll always keep that in good form. And I always use some baby oil or WD-40, some sort of uh, thing to... Uh... Chris, in your opinion, is it worth slicing the uh, core down the middle to have a look inside? I it? always do. Okay. But what I do, rather than do it when it's malleable, I get it like that and what I sometimes do depending on the conditions of the soil. If you take one in winter, you get that smearing. Yeah, yeah. So what I do, I allow it to so have a couple of days in office temperature, and then I slice it down the middle. Right. And then I kind of scrape it away like a razor blade. Yeah, yeah. Then it reveals all yeah. the different colors. And as it dries, then you start getting the different colored soils, etc., etc. But I never try to examine it as soon as you take it out, especially in the winter. It's just too much moisture in there. Right, okay. And, and you can just play very, very gently any loose stuff like that and you start to reveal any thatchy material on top start to come about because the thatchy material is is amalgamated with um, ameliorated with some of the soil on the top but you start revealing the thatchy stuff like that so a little bit of tease it all becomes revealing but you're absolutely right I always try to always carry a knife with me anyway just to slice down and reveal that but as far as the design's concerned I'm very much happier with this uh, I think um, <coughs> Talking with James here, this is the prototype. I think we'll go back, we'll discuss, and I'm certain from his company point of view, some things we can polish up on, things that I found. Now, you guys, if I wanted to get a slightly different depth, if I feel that there's something underneath there down at 10 inches for an investigate, like a chalk layer, marler, or something like that, I can always use the other one, which I've still got, to get that extra couple of inches. But if you feel you'd rather have the full 10 inch depth, well then it just needs a longer, longer base. And um, we can perhaps talk about this. I know it's an advertising medium, but um, if that's getting in the way, we, we can look at that. But that does support the handle strength as well. Mm. But you see, you see how it works. It just slots onto the back like that. Locks uh, upside down. Locks into place. Just clip it into place it. There we go, that locks it into place and away you go. Then it becomes one solid unit again. Okay? When there's a lot of moisture inside, then it does tend to stick and the old one tended to splay out a little bit and it almost got wedged. So as I said, so when you're pulling, um, if there was a discontinuity and you were unsured, you almost created one, which obviously you want to avoid confusion with that and I think this goes a long way.